we we are about to perform a sample of the Helmholtz coil lab. But before we do that, we will require the necessary equipment. In this case, we will begin with a DC power supply plug. We will need logger low input cables. We will put we will also need a lab pro interface, a magnetic field sensor, and we will require to hook up to a power source with two, with two negative and positive lead cables. We will require two ring stands with clamps, as well as the main ingredients, two Helmholtz coils, a Helmholtz coil base, a laser pointer, as well as a laptop computer. When it comes to setting up the center, center of the coil, the first thing you have to do is uh, get some tape, and when you tape it, look for between the two screws from side to side, and that's going to be the middle. Then for the top, look for the other line, but it's right in the middle, and try to have the edge of the tape next to it. That way it's not going to be center but uh, you're looking for this main point right here and that's where the laser is going to have to point in order for the center sensor to be in the middle. So this is the basic setup for the laser pointer. Um, basically you just use a piece of tape right here to make sure that the button is always held down and attach it to a clamp which is then attached to the ring stand. And basically what you have to do is you have to aim the laser so it just hits the edges of both the pieces of tape. Uh, and that means that when you actually put something in the middle, uh, the point will be then be projected and you can uh, align the sensor so it's right in the middle of the two rings. What, what I did is that I taped the end of a pencil to the opposite end of the magnetic <laughs> sensor pointer and therefore and also clamped it onto a ring stand using a perpendicular double clamp and I centered it directly in front of the laser pointer by using a half meter stick to get it to four centimeters at the base which happens to be half of the distance 4.5 At this point in the experiment, we have the coils set up um, at a distance of 10.5 centimeters apart. Uh, we have the wiring in such a way that the positive lead from the power supply goes in right here. The negative, uh, the output goes from there around here into the leftmost port on the second coil. And then the output from that one goes back to the power supply over here. Uh, we have the, mag uh, the magnetic sensor centered at what we consider to be uh, x is equal to zero, which is at the very midpoint between the two, center, uh, two coils. When you begin the data collection process, uh, you should have one person hold the meter stick at the desired uh, distance point given by the little tick marks on the side of the base and the other person should adjust the magnetic sensor always making sure that the red dot is in the middle of the magnetic sensor. Okay, when you start taking measurements you're actually going to have to start with the negative side and the first data point you're going to be able to collect is going to be actually negative 4 x equals negative 4 because that's the closest you can get. After that you start moving to the right and start taking measurements at every centimeter. Then when it comes to the other coil, the closer you're going to be able to get it's going to be x equals 3 and then you're going to have to go to x equals 5 because this is going to be getting you better. Then after that you start taking measurements on the way to the Uh, for the double coil experiment, you have to repeat all of the uh, previous steps for each of the three configurations. The first one, where the distance between the two rings is less than the radius of the ring, which is about 10.5 centimeters, marked on the base. 
Uh, the second configuration is the distance between is exactly the radius of the rings, which is, uh, yet again, marked, you put it right in the middle. And the third configuration is that the distance between the rings is greater than the radius. So in that case, you would have one ring here and the other ring right here, and you'd measure data points in between the two. Silence! 